Kia ora everyone, Tom here from Arps Apres. It has um, been a while since I've brought you any content and I guess um, I've been busy. I've um, had a lot going on in the last seven months of my life and um, the bees are sort of, um, well the video making is taking a bit of a back step. So it is one to hear in Christchurch and not a hell of a lot going on on the bee front and the, inside the hive. Um, but I thought what I'd do is bring you some um, other videos throughout winter so that um, we can still still keep in touch. So first one, um, what I want to do is bring you um, the website here in, in New Zealand that we use to do everything on the, I guess, the legal side of things. Um, we register our hives, we deregister our hives and do all that. And I'll, I just want to quickly show you that. So if I open up Safari, um, Hive Hub, it does come up automatically for me, but I want to show you from the start. So Google Hive Hub, um, and you click on the first thing, it brings you to the AFB website, um, which has huge amounts of information about AFB, um, things like that. See down here we can um, get our username which I've already got, we can log in or we can register with as a new beekeeper. So if I click on login, it would usually pop up with a login page but I'm automatically logged in. So we can see here on the home page, um, really nice up the top here is just a quick dashboard that you can see I've paid my levy for this year, I've done my colony return, I've done my annual disease return and I've um, submitted my latest certificate of inspection. If I did have anything to do it would pop up down here in the actions that require my um, attention. On the left you can see my registration number, my name, how many apiaries and how many colonies I got. I don't have my decker, that's something I'll get this year which I'll explain in a different video. Um, if I have any AFB, which I haven't had any AFB at all in the last three seasons, which is really cool. Um, on the bottom right, I can report non-compliance. So if I find a hive that's not registered, I can apply for my decker and I can get some help and support there. What I want to do is at the top, um, if I click on my apiaries, you can see my, my registered apiaries here. Um, my data registered, which I don't have any, and some high-risk apiaries. So here in... Um, my Ryan Street apiary, which is just literally two days ago, moved out to um, North Canterbury. We've had AFB within two kilometres of us in the last six months, so that comes up as a high risk um, colony. I can generate a report, um, a PDF. Um, obviously, if you're a big business, it'd be good to have some of the stuff printed out. I can re register, deregister, and transfer apiaries. So, um, transfer apiary is probably what I need to do for my Ryan Street one, which I'll do after I make this video. If I click on my map, um, this uh, I think is a really cool feature, is um, if it's going to load, you can see on a map where your apiaries are. So the green ones are registered apiaries. If I had any deregistered, um, they would come up as red so that I can see where I have had sites in the past. And obviously, ooh, if we zoom in properly, doo -doo -doo here, um, we can zoom right in and see exactly where our apiaries are. Um, click on my account um, it has all my details there that I would need um, if I'm contacting anyone and if we go more um, when you sell and purchase a um, beehive or a nucleus of bees um, you add those transactions into here now which is really cool you can see your invoices you can see any requests you've made you can see your um, certificate of inspection you can see um, any help, um, you can edit your profile, um, things like that. Now because this website is so new, a, it came out after um, the latest round of COIs, then nothing is here because I haven't done anything since this website's been active. Uh, but if we go back to the homepage, you can see that I've done all that stuff. So it was last on the um, 22nd of the 10th last year. That's really about it for the site. Um, there is an app as well, which I'll take you through at a, at a later stage and do another video on that um, because the app has some really cool features for um, when you're working out in the field. Other than that, I, I really hope that you enjoy some of these more technical sides of beekeeping, the, the behind the scenes stuff. Um, I'm gonna show you in, a, in the next few videos what I do over winter to prepare myself for the upcoming season. Um, and then I will um, also show you some winter feeding things and when we crack in the spring um, you can expect a, a whole heap of more action from within the hive. So have a really good day and um, any feedback, comment below, remember to like, share, subscribe, do all that awesome stuff on the socials um, so that I can get my name out there. Catch you later.